Hello and welcome back. Today's video is going to be a project pan update for the Pi project pan or pan in everything project pan. This was created by Jessica and there is a group of us doing this project. I will link her and other people in the description box. This might be my favorite project pan that I'm doing because basically we're just trying to hit pan on something and roll it out. Our goal is to literally have pan on everything in our collection, which for me is probably a little too ambitious, but I do want to have as much pan as possible and just rotate through things and get good use. If you are interested, my whole project pan playlist will be in the description box. And I did film this makeup look as a part of my creating my own version of the Natasha Denona bronze palette. So if you want to see this tutorial, I'll link that in the description box. I do want to start doing a few more tutorial type of videos. I haven't had time to do that in the last month, but I am trying to do that now. Let's just get into this project pan update. I have four different things going at once, and this time I have two new pans, which means I will be rolling out two new items, which is very thrilling. Um, let me first show you the ones I have not yet hit pan on. The first is the BH Cosmetics Sylvia Ghani palette. This is a really beautiful palette. I enjoy it quite a bit. I'm trying to hit pan on this warm matte brown shade here, and I have a pretty good dip going in it. I don't know if you can tell, but... I'm getting pretty close. I've been using this pretty regularly just as a starting out crease shade. It blends really well and it's not, you know, too dark of a brown and it's not too orange of a brown. So it works with a lot of different looks. Maybe by next time I could hit pan on that. That would be awesome. I'm not sure though. And then the other one, this is going to take a while and that is the ColourPop So Jaded palette. I have hit pan on ColourPop pressed powder eyeshadows before. They take a while. So yeah, I think this one's gonna be here for a while. And also I kind of haven't been using this shade as much. So the one I've been working on is Rose Quartz, which is a bit more of a cool tone version of the same color in the BH Cosmetics palette. Therefore, I think it's been kind of hard for me to use both. So I kind of been transitioned into using this cream colored shade as a brow bone highlight. I've been doing that for the last two weeks. There's a bit of a dip going in that, but I don't think I'm anywhere close. Therefore, I'm going to keep using both of these shades. Honestly, I just haven't really decided which one I'm gonna really try to hit pan on, but maybe my precious now that I'm using the shade in the Sylvia Ghani palette. All right, let me show you the two items I hit pan on, which, oh my gosh, it finally happened. I hit pan on this Becca mini highlighter. This is in opal. This is a small size. It took me a really long time though because I've been combining this with other highlighters I've mentioned before. Opal is just a bit too dark on my skin tone. But yes, I had pan. Kind of a funny looking pan. But yeah, I'm very, very excited. I am actually going to still work on this though, at least intermittently because this is something I do want to completely finish and I've actually finished two or three of these little Becca highlighters before in the past. So this will be taken out of this project, but I will still be working on it. Maybe I'll put it in another project pan at some point. I'm not sure, but we shall see. All right, that one took a while, but this next one I just put in at the last update and I hit pan on it. Now I will say I had a really dip, big dip going in this eyeshadow and that is Makeup Geek Grandstand. This is the In The Nude palette, but they still do sell this color. It's one of my favorite eyeshadows ever. It's a very bronze type color. Yeah, I had a big dip going in this already, so I guess I'm not surprised it took a month for me to hit pan, but yes, I did it. I cannot believe it. I'm very thrilled about that. I love this eyeshadow. I'm glad I hit pan on it, and eventually I would like to finish that up because I now have a backup of that eyeshadow because I did buy the new Makeup Geek quads at Target, and that color is in one of them. I did a whole review on that if you're interested, but... Yes, I don't need two of the same eyeshadow, even if it's my favorite color ever. All right, let me show you the two products I'm rolling into this project. The first one is a highlighter and it's Urban Decay Sin. I love this color, I've talked about it a lot. It's very close to Mary Luminizer. They are nearly identical, but Mary Luminizer is just a bit lighter in tone, but otherwise they are very similar. I do have a bit of a dip going in there. I've used this a fair amount, but 
I've never even hit pan on one of these Urban Decay products in this type of packaging, therefore I really have no idea how long it might take. It is a slightly powdery formula, so maybe it will be faster than I think, but again, not sure on that. I've used it a decent amount though. Alrighty, and the last one is this palette. This is the Zoeva Spice of Life palette. And actually this is my newest palette because I did get it in BoxyCharm in June. And yeah, I've only used this twice. So I figure, you know what? Let's put my newest palette in here. Let's get some use out of it. I've never hit pan on a Zoeva palette before, therefore I have no idea how long it might take. There are a lot of people that I follow on Instagram though who have hit pan on their Zoeva palettes and I was trying to look to see how deep the pans look. They don't look super deep, but again, I'm not really sure. Um, okay, so I think one of the matte shades, just because I think that will work well on an everyday basis with my Pan That palette. Um, I have finished one of the matte shades in my Pan That palette, therefore I could use something either for the crease or the outer corner on an everyday type basis. So I may be thinking, this color here, maybe this darker reddish brown, or maybe this one right here. Wow, these are actually, now I'm looking at it, this color and this color, I mean, they're nearly identical. <laughs> kind of funny, but um, yeah, you know, another option would be this one if I stopped working on that shade in the ColourPop palette and worked on the brown instead. So yeah, I think probably one of these four Sometimes though, when I first put a palette in a project, I like to just kind of play around with it and see how I feel and see the, re the colors that I reach for and then kind of decide from there. Alrighty, that is it for this project pan update. I am thrilled to have two new pans in my collection, so yay for that. If you are interested, I'll link my project pan playlist in the description box and this tutorial and the other people doing this project as well. That is it. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.